Wesley coming back at you with the news flash. Okay, there has been a weekly report of tornadoes all over the place. Cut, let's cut to the chase. Okay, here we go. Bob Miller. I'm a officer of the Lansing Police Department. I come out here one day a week on Tuesdays. Uh, this is my second year doing this. I uh, enjoy it very much. I like uh, relating, relating with the kids uh, on a uh, different level uh, rather than being a police officer. It's just a uh, person. We like the kids to see us as uh, just normal people rather than uh, someone who uh, yells at them all the time. Uh, I think it's a great program and I hope it uh, continues into the future.
one. Can you get a little more specific, Daniel? Like having fun with Mitch and the other counselors. What do you do to, in order to have fun? All sorts of stuff. Like biking, canoeing, fishing, hunting for prizes and stuff. What do you have for lunch, Danny? <laughs> Hot dogs all the time. Look how many cookies I got. Whoa, why are you taking so many? Here's the hot yeah, one. See how scrumptious the food is here at Camp Adventure? Yeah. Josh, you've been eating hot dogs here this summer. Do you like hot dogs? Yeah. Out of all summer, how many hot dogs do you think you've eaten? You've been here for six weeks. How many hot dogs do you think you've eaten during those six weeks? Uh, about five, about 5,000. About 5,000? That's a lot of hot dogs. How many do you generally eat a day? Two hot dogs a day, and over six weeks you've eaten, you've eaten 5,000 hot dogs? That's amazing, Joshua. Do you like the hot dogs here? That's a tomato. You already had your third piece though, right? Okay. Two or three. This is where I want you. Now I'm gonna eat y'all. Are you taping now? Mitch, hook the microphone up. I am bleeding. All day when we when we, first when we get here we do we do arts and crafts. We play games. Then we eat lunch, and then it, we go bike riding and canoeing. And then at 2.30, we go swimming. Swimming! Swimming rules! Craig, what have you, what are you into? Um, I like kickball. Kickball is my favorite. Um, capture the flag is fun, too, especially when we get a lot of people. Well, that was Craig. Matt, what do you do for a living? I'm a full-time student at Michigan State University, and I'm a Lansing Police Department intern. That, that was Matt. Let's go to Greg. Woof! That was Matt for Greg. Th this is reporter Wesley coming back at you with the news flash. Okay. There has been a weekly report of tornadoes all over the place. Cut, let's cut to the chase. Joshua, what do you like here and what do you want to do when you get older? Um, I'd like to play games. I'd like to be a police officer. Police officer. Let's see who we go to next. This program kind of sells itself because the kids have done it before. And they pretty much like to do anything that's fun. I just usually give out permission slips and they're pretty much fun. How did you meet the kids? Where did you meet the kids at? How did you get to know the kids? I work with the two community policing officers in the neighborhoods. So some of it, um, when I first started, there was a big pool party, so I met a lot of the kids then. A lot of it's just um, kind of working with some of the adults, having the officers introduce you to certain key people and then Pretty much, I'm just out in the neighborhoods 
talking to kids. They're all over there. There's just swarms of kids everywhere, so you just pretty much have to get out there and talk with them. So you walk the streets, you walk them. the sidewalks, and start introducing yourself to kids and that kind of stuff? Yeah. Tell them what's going on. There's a lot of different programs they have going on, so just get them involved. Once they're there, they come back. They like doing anything. So, so they really like coming on Thursdays for Adventure Camp. A lot of them don't have the opportunity to swim, or if they swim, but I mean, even being out kind of like in nature, the trees, stuff like that. It's just stuff that they don't experience, and there's a lot of stuff that we take for granted that we would never think of. Like, it's not really a big deal for us to come and kind of walk through the woods, but for them, that's a big experience. To be out in the water, to see the frogs, they don't really see that at home. And a lot of them don't get out of the neighborhood at all, besides um, kind of through other funded things, whether it be through school or programs like this, to get them out of the neighborhood, that's all they know. It's pretty much their streets and instead of being up and down the street. So this is a really good opportunity for them to get out and to see other things. You know, when you're only in one spot and with a certain group of people and a way of life, that's all you know. So it's good to get them out and give them a glimpse of something else. I just feel like the most important thing about being here is, uh, the most important thing about being here is providing them, providing them with an opportunity to feel good about something. Because I think, in my opinion, self-esteem is, is the number one determining factor, you know, in their maturity, in their development, their growth, how that's gonna, how that whole process is gonna move along throughout life, and the decision makings that they're, the decisions that they're gonna make throughout life. You know, self-esteem is gonna be a big determining factor of that, and I don't think that they get the opportunity enough to feel good about something that they do, whether it's helping cook hot dogs catching a frog, taking a fish off a hook, challenging them to go past the first rope in the water, or biking up a hill that they normally wouldn't bike up, or bike down a hill that they normally wouldn't bike down. Just the simplest little things. Or if they just make a nice little lanyard, or they draw a picture, and you, or they help clean up, or they put tablecloths out, put the ketchup away, whatever it is, you just have to tell them how good they did at doing that, and make them feel good about that. You can see immediate changes in their behavior too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Provide that positive reinforcement about things. And they respond to you, you know, and there's a respect thing that happens. You know, you have a, I had a situation yesterday with a kid, he was acting up, Kevin, you know, and people were screaming at him, you know, and he's acting tough, and then people are getting tough back with him, you know, and, and they're not getting anywhere. With him. What you have to do, you have to pull him aside, just take the time have a conversation, explain to them, try and explain to them the difference between right and wrong, good and bad, the whole thing. And it takes effort. You can't do it if you're lazy. But you gotta take the time to do it. And I think if you show that interest, they sense that, and that they're gonna be a little more loyal to you. And the next time you have to talk to them about something, it's gonna you're gonna have much more success with it. Just make them feel good. Alternative role models like you said. And the biggest thing is get them doing something they've never done before. Separated into three. Had one short one, one long one, one medium sized one, and then I put the beads on it, all light colored beads, and I tied it at one end. And then I put like a, a bone one on the end of this one, the medium sized, no, yeah, the, the medium sized one, and the short one. 
I put the three bone ones and then this one. I just got a regular string. I was gonna make it into where it has another one coming down. It's white right here on the other side. But uh, all I did was, since we didn't have enough time, I just slid all the blue ones onto a black string. I just made it like that. And then this one, all I did was just braid it with green, black, and purple. Y'all make up today? I don't know, just let us talk to him. Well, you guys are just sitting at that table together, weren't you? No, he wasn't on it. I thought he was walking back from there. Yeah, he was walking back and I was walking back. Yeah. You scared at him? You got scared at each other? I said, hey. You're welcome. I'm going to get you right now. Hey, hey. Everybody do what I mean. Oh. <laughs> 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 adventure and uh, it's been a very interesting summer things that, that, we've, that we've done have been things that I enjoy doing like canoeing and mountain biking and I've discovered I really enjoy mountain biking and the be but the best part is the kids who come out here and you know we're just kind of giving them an experience they don't have in their backyard a chance to get in the water and swim a chance to use a canoe use a paddle boat use a fishing rod get on a different kind of bike and bike through the woods rather than just down the street and on the sidewalk and it's kind of fun because they don't necessarily say thank you but they but they do like today ebony made me this little bracelet
Wake up, everybody! Wake up! Come on! Yeah! If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. The time is now or never to make your dream come true. You better wake up and pay attention. The end.